I have to apply a full phase of makeup because I'm filming other videos today. And I figured film my try on of my April BoxyCharm by Ipsy PR box application, stuff like that. I've tried already the cleanser. I like it. I haven't gotten Thai or Juan to try it quite yet because they're like set in their ways, but I will have them try it because they're like sensitive and we'll see um, how that works for them. But I liked it. I did. And it looks so pretty and it has little shimmers in it. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and begin by applying the Pacifica product. This is the Future Youth Gravity Rebound Serum. If you haven't seen the full on unboxing of the bag and box, it is a two in one video. Make sure you go check it out. I'll link it below. But she's going to look like these. This is a product that I liked and I liked a lot. It is fragrance free. It leaves like a slight, slight tacky residue, but it's not super de duper tacky. And it created a really nice base for my foundation. So I'm gonna say, although it's not the same, it doesn't smell, cause it, this is unfragranced. It kind of somewhat reminds me of the Dew Drops by Glow Recipe. Kind of. Anyway, so that is the skin once you apply the serum. This is gonna look pretty on the skin. If you wanted to apply no makeup, you just go with the serum and move about your day. And it doesn't say that it's gonna give you like a nice little glow, but your skin will look pretty hydrated. So that's that. And then I'll apply foundation over top. I'll be honest, I want my skin to look kind of like healthy and lightweight. So I'm gonna use something like this, which is gonna be my Makeup Forever uh, face palette. I'm gonna mix some shades to create my custom like perfect shade and i'm gonna tap the product onto the skin i love this because it's like so lightweight and it quite literally feels like i have nothing on you see like it just balances everything out with like minimal effort even with applying some pigment on the skin i look dewy and healthy i want to cover a little bit of the redness on the nose and then we'll hit that forehead a little bit and then that's it i am ready and excited to play around with the violet boss palette i know so many of you guys are getting it oh my god let's see how it works also if you want to know what i use to bronze i did use the glowish powder i got it. it this is their luminous pressed powder um in number eight tan remember i got it in like my paid box when i resubbed and i was like i'm so mad because that's not gonna work for me pero this is the second time i use it and i think it works well so long that everything else balances so i'm glad i ended up tr decided to try it and keeping it because i i think it looks really good anyway so we are going to begin i think we're going to apply uh sun kissed no sun kissed sand all over my crease like so i'm gonna bring it up and just kind of like buff that out we want to slowly begin to feather it now i'm not looking for an insane wash of color i just want to start kind of creating a base for the eye look. With the very same brush, I'm going to dip into coconut cream, which for some people could be a bronzer, but it's gonna be more of a like a really light blush for others. I'm gonna apply that here and begin to kind of blend that into the crease in windshield wiper motions. This is gonna be a great shade if you wanna just create the most natural looking eye, but you wanna add some depth to that crease area, a little bit of a shadow. Now this is the shade we are going to kind of intermingle with that, uh, what is it? That sun-kissed sand. It kind of reminds me of like an orange popsicle, kind of. We're just kind of adding some depth here. We're gonna go a little darker, don't worry. And then I'll dip into Paradise Plum and do the very same thing. Tap out here, concentrate the shade on the outer corner, and then gently bring it in. Do not bring it all the way to the inner corner. You don't have to. At times, what that'll do is it'll make your eye look a lot smaller without you intending to do that. So what we're doing here is a color building, which means you're going to add color over color over color, and then eventually you're going to get the most prettiest wearable eye look and like the cleanest blend for sure. You just want to go in circular motions and gently bring it forward. And yes, I keep going back into the pan, applying and blending, color building. I just realized that these have been in front of me the whole darn time, but I wasn't very curious about all the brushes. I was mainly curious about the one. So we're gonna use that big fluffy one. I kind of wanted to keep the eye matte, but now that I realized, right, we're gonna take her, we're gonna pop her into this like brownie shade. I'm gonna apply that out here. I'm gonna slightly try to build it if I can. I don't know about, oh yeah, a little bit. Okay, that'll be cute. And then with the very tip, do you see how much finer the tip is? 
it's not as packed. I'm gonna take the brush, turn it sideways, and apply that on the crease as well. And I know it's a shimmer shade, but it doesn't look all that shimmery. It's super cute. That's gonna help us get a little darker in that crease. And because it has some shimmer, it'll add a little bit of like shimmer particles and dimension to the eye. Okay, I'm very happy with that. And then that same brush we used on that creamsicle color, I'm gonna apply a little more out here. Now I'm gonna grab the mascara. I'm very curious about the mascara. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out. I'm hoping I'm gonna sound for the best. Cause like I told you guys, I'm looking for a really good brown mascara. So let's see. I am gonna give it my all though. I'm gonna give it like a good, maybe, I'm gonna do two coats at the bottom, which is a lot for me. And then I'll do my two and a half at the top and let's just hope for the best. I just noticed it's time I removed my peach fuzz, girl. All right, I, you know what I wanna do? I'm gonna curl my lashes. That way I'm actually giving this, um, Mascara a really good shot. All right, let's begin the top lash application. All right, this here is just the one coat and I'm actually pretty impressed. Um, the brand again is Lava. Very impressed. And it's a brown, but it's a nice brown. It's kind of like the deepest brown you're gonna get, but it's not too light to where you can't see it, you know, but it's dark enough to where it intensifies your lashes and does the most. I'm gonna go in with coat number two. You guys with coat number two, it is very impressive. Also, I think I like it. I think I like it like it. And then I'm gonna do my half coat as I normally would. So let's go ahead and build up the base. Okay, I like the mascara. The mascara is actually very, very nice, impressive. I'm gonna apply a little bit of bleach. So I'll use the one from the palette and my BK Beauty NG Hot and Flashy um, A507. <sighs> I'm gonna, oh, it's for, it has glitch. It does have the little shimmers in it. Um, it looks like a lot on the brush, but it is forgiving. See, like you can just kinda, okay. Super cute. Kinda goes with the look for today. I really like the mascara. I think so far, what's standing out to me is going to be the mascara so far. Let's see. Lastly, we have the Bucks um, Plump Shot. What are you, the Plump Shot? Uh, plumper. It is a collagen infused lip serum. They sent it in Dolly Babe. I already tried this in a video. Remember I took off my lippy just so that I can try this and I love it. This is a Gerard Cosmetics sugar and spice. Mira, I'm like running low. One of my favorite shades. I'm just gonna quickly line the perimeter. This is like a pigmented gloss. So Dolly Babe is gonna look like that. Full transparency. I've been using it since I got it. So I'm rotating product now because it's so pretty. It's wearable and when it fades, it fades gracefully and it does give you that cooling. It doesn't burn. It gives you a little bit of a cooling sensation, almost like, oh, my lips are getting plumper and it does kind of feel like it. It helps more so with an illusion that they're plump versus really, really plumping them. So if you're looking for an illusion and something that's gonna be comfortable and it's gonna give you that feel, then the plump shot is gonna be your best bet. If you want something that is going to sting a little bit, it's not super painful, but it's it stings and it actually plumps your lips, then you wanna do the um, next ones. Those are so good. All right, Miha, and here is the completed look. Is the palette pretty? Yes. Are you gonna get intense, intense, intense looks out of it? Not necessarily. You may be able to create one or two that are kind of deep, but you're not gonna be able to do a smoky eye just with the palette. You're gonna have to incorporate other products. The mascara is where it's at. It stood out to me. It is amazing. And um, the serum is really, really good. This product, the lip plumper is so good. The cleanser is good. So everything was actually really, really nice. Quality was great. The brands are awesome. So if we're box twins, get excited to play around with your products. But as always, I wanna hear you guys' thoughts, so make sure you leave them in the comments section. Now, you know, I can't go anywhere without saying hello and thank you to our channel members, the G Squad. This amazing group of people have joined channel memberships and are supporting the channel at a higher level. In turn, they have unlocked exclusive perks. YouTube has provided them with a badge and is highlighting all of their comments under my videos. So if you're interested in joining channel memberships, all you have to do is click the button below. All right, you guys, YouTube is going to recommend your next video based on your watch history while I am going to recommend additional beauty content I think you're gonna enjoy. So I hope you consider checking it out and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.